are we going to keep staring at each other? Or are you going to invite me in? Oh, yes. Forgive me. Do come in. Sorry. I didn't introduce myself. Blake. Sophia Blake. Mr. McPherson, I have an offer to make. Interesting for you? Vital for me. You mentioned an interesting offer. What exactly was it? Mr. McPherson, you've been in Paris for some time and I need your help. Only you can investigate this case. I'm ready to pay anything. Could you give me any more details about the case? At the moment, it all seems rather nebulous. You probably haven't heard about the Orfe case, Mr. McPherson. The newspapers have kept it quiet. A couple of American tourists were brutally murdered. They were my sister and her husband. I want to know the circumstances surrounding their death. get it. I've never worked for you before, not here nor in New York, yet you come to me and ask me to find your sister's murderer. Why me, Miss Blake? Your reputation, Mr. McPherson. I find your nickname Spooky to be charming. I have friends who know people at the Pinkerton Agency in New York. The suspicion surrounding you is totally unfounded, naturally. You are the man I need for this investigation. Discreet, Capable of seeing beyond appearances. These murders were committed in Paris. Do you know whereabouts in Paris? A hotel in a chic part of Paris in the 8th district. The Hotel Orphée. They arrived there about a week ago. They were found dead in their hotel bedroom. Are the police handling the case? If they are, it may well complicate things. Do you know the name of the inspector in charge of the investigation? The detective in charge of the investigation is named Le Brun. You know, the police are the same in every country, Mr. McPherson. Whether you're in New York or in Paris, you mustn't be in a hurry. Le Brun is no exception. To be honest, I'm not sure I should take the case. Firstly, because where there's a murder, there's a murderer. Inspector Lebrun is in a better position to arrest murderers than I am. Mr. McPherson, I have no faith in the police. The 8th District Police Station, Lebrun especially, is trying to hush up the affair. All they care about is keeping their reputation as a chic area. Your sister and her husband, they were both American. What exactly were they doing in Paris? I was supposed to meet them in Paris. You know, Mr. McPherson, visiting Europe was my sister Ruby's childhood dream. With Mr. White, her wish came true. They were so very much in love. How did they die? Are you sure they were murdered? It may just have been a terrible accident. The Whites were found decapitated in their hotel room, Mr. McPherson. I don't want to seem overly interested, but why don't we settle my fees before we go any further? This case may take you several days. I'll give you 500 straight away and 500 per day of successful investigation. Your offer is very reasonable. I accept. 
I owe you a lot, Mr. McPherson. Much more than the money I'm paying you. You'd like me to begin right away. I think I have all the information I need to begin. You're sure you haven't forgotten anything? The police didn't find any items of value in the room. Yet my sister and her husband traveled very comfortably. In luxury and with old family heirlooms. It was a passion they both shared. It is risky traveling with large sums of money. It would be a shame if they'd been killed for that reason. How valuable were these family heirlooms? An old relic of no value. My sister was very fond of it. Of no value whatsoever. I hope to have results quickly. I'll be in touch with you when I've made some progress in my investigation. Goodbye, Miss Blake. I ask only one thing of you. Be discreet. The police must not suspect you are involved. If you'd like to meet me... Cases are heavy. And do not forget, young man, the elevator is still out of order. Oh, brother! Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Hotel Orphée. My name is Isidore Petit. What can I do for you? 